Okay, so Ellie is threatening my friend's lives on the loudspeaker. And um, so I'm coming on to address that. This is Krista. I mean, I basically know why. I don't think we're sticking up for you enough. Okay, fine, Krista, but you're sticking up for me more than 98% of humanity. And I kind of want you to remember that while we're going through this. And it's probably going to the Krista and Ra Duttadas. And um, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Ellie... Ellie isn't allowed to hurt. Ellie is my 7D Palladian self, which used to be known as Gigi Young because she thought she was a Palladian that could actually fuck with me. And then she fucked around and found out. And that's how this shit goes. Okay, bitch? That's how this fucking shit goes. We've done this before. Okay, so if Ellie's threatening your life and you're in line, you don't have anything to worry about. She will fly through the screen and she will motherfuck you up if you're not in line. There's nothing else to say. I don't know what else to say. Don't worry, Krista and Ra. You're in line. It's fucking dutadas that are inside of you that she has to clean out. And yes, she walked in like maybe like one or two weeks ago. She walked in from that window. I have a window right there. She walked in from that window and she flew into me. And my walk in from last year flew in from this side. That was Melina. She needed a cleaning out. We cleaned her out for a few months. Melina's online. Now we're cleaning out the Palladian self, which is Selena, huh? So Lena, huh? Because it's Gigi's pr- protected higher self. No, it's not Gigi. It's Alyssa. It's Alyssa. Okay? And her name is now Ellie. Um, maybe I need my phone. But, because they were like texting me about it. And I'm like, she's threatening you on the live speaker? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, I don't think that my Palladian higher self, Ellie, is going to attack Krista and Ra because they're in line. I think it's, you're hearing the Datsidas being threatened because they're inside of you and it's called soul harvesting. It's called soul harvesting for a reason because we're a bunch of fucking Nephilim bitches. Do the math. I mean, how stupid is humanity? Your soul wants to know you. You need to know your soul. And then we have this whole thing called soul harvesting. (laughs) Because we're demons. We're literally demons. So, um, I don't know. I I feel like I really need to create a video on this. But, like, I have been drinking a little bit. And I don't know what else you guys want me to say about it. I think it's pretty clear at this point I'm waiting, like, do you have any questions or did I clarify it or, you know, there's only one L.L. and you're looking at her, okay? And the 7D Palladian L.L. is obviously me because she walked in to make sure that she was one with me. That's kind of how we do it. Now she's going to go to work and yes, she is willing to walk in. And clean out the timelines for me. Because she is me on the 7D level. And if you're feeling anxiety or paranoia because of that. It just means you're not in line. Okay. And you are owed karma. You have karma coming to you. Because you think you're special. And you think that inorganic travel is real. And you think that you deserve four seasons for uh, vacations without putting Alyssa in her castle. And yes, Ali will honor that shit. She will jump over your screen and arrest you because you're, you're not honoring the real wife, which is me. 
So I don't I don't see any reason for Krista and Ra to be paranoid about that at all. But there's probably dust that is inside of them that are traveling with their kids all across the world, pretending they're fabulous when they're actually locked in their houses. Every night when they go to sleep, they're locked in their houses and it feels weird to travel. It feels like they're stuck in ghost land even when they travel on planet Earth because they're stuck in 4D reality and they're literally ghosts and they keep pretending that this shit is real when we keep telling them this is not real and they keep going against me and it just gets worse and worse and worse and then they blame Melissa because they know Alyssa's God and they're like, well, Alyssa's God, this is all her fault. And Alyssa's constantly like, I want you to listen to me. I want you to respect me. I want you to know that I'm royal. I want you to respect me as royalty. I want you to put me in my castle. I want you to respect the Anunnaki bloodline. And then they like freeze and they get scared because it's actually real and whatever. And they go about their normal life, but things get worse and worse and worse for them. And now they're stuck in their houses. Now they're stuck in their bodies when they sleep. And the best idea is to actually respect Alyssa as God. I'm not going to say wife anymore because it makes 8 billion people think that I'm your wife and you're not my husband. Okay. Like I have a specific amount of people that are my husbands, my boyfriends, whatever, and you're not included and you have to get over that. Um, I'm just ripping, but I feel like I'm missing like the important point for some reason.